I get asked a lot, do I really need a personal brand? Well, you guys are sitting here in this room today, obviously, because you know the answer is yes, I, you need a personal brand. It's become quite the rage. It's become a very popular topic on social media, on blogs, on career development websites, on consultant websites. Everybody is talking about personal branding. And there's a really important reason why. With the availability of technology, you already have a personal brand, whether you know it or not. Everything you post online, every interaction you have with people, whether it's in person or online, is part of your personal brand. And if you're not doing that intentionally, if you're not doing that strategically, you are possibly making two mistakes. One, you're losing out on an opportunity, right, to influence what people think of you. And second of all, you are possibly causing a lot of confusion with the people you're communicating with. Who is this person, right? If you don't have it clear in your mind, how is your audience gonna have it clear in their minds? Okay, so think about what really makes you happy, what do you love to do, okay? And then I want you to think about the audience that you're trying to target, whoever they are. It could be your boss if you're trying to get a promotion. It could be um, you know, industry thought leaders if you're trying to change careers and change industries. Uh, it could be clients if you're a consultant or a coach. It could be clients that you're trying to speak to. Whoever that happens to be, what do they need from you? And what is it that only you can provide? The brand positioning is how what you do stacks up to everything else. And everything else can be your competition, your direct competitors. It can be the internet, just going around and hunting for information and trying to think that I made a good decision. Or quite frankly, it can be doing nothing, right? Let's say I'm a hiring manager and I have a job rep and I really need to get this position filled, but I'm just not finding anybody. How many times have you guys seen where managers, they just give up and they just let the rec kind of go and eventually the work gets sucked up by somebody else and it just kind of goes away, right? I mean, it happens more often than not than we want to admit. That is, the alternative is doing nothing, right? If I wait long enough, I really won't have this problem, right? The problem will go away. So there is the option to do nothing. And that is a hard one to counter, especially if you're a consultant or a coach and you, you, you know, are talking to clients and that sort of thing. That's a hard one to counter. But you, that's where your value proposition comes in. And you can say, I am uniquely positioned to help you solve this problem because of one, two, three, four, five, all of these big ones, laundry list of reasons. So your brand proposition needs to be both relevant to the audience that you're talking to, whether it's your boss, a hiring manager, or a client, or whomever. It need, they need to care about it, which is why we just talked about what are their needs, what's important to them. If your value proposition, if your positioning does not you specifically address a need that they have, they're not gonna listen to you. 